Hi guys, welcome back. We'll have a quick look at Pluto Projector by Rex Orange County. I'll show you guys how to play the bridge till the outro section of the song in the easiest way. So basically I'll show you guys the bridge, then the part after the bridge and then till the ending I'll just show you guys everything. Now I have Capo on 5th fret and I'll show you guys how to play it in the most easiest way avoiding the bar chords which we had in the song. So once you have your Capo on 5th fret, your guitar is in the standard tuning, you're ready to go. Now I already have made a lesson for the uh, previous part which includes the verse chorus uh, with tab so you can check it out if you want to learn that in an easy way and obviously the studio version is also out so plenty of options out there. So starting off with the bridge section we have Talking about the right hand, I use my thumb to pluck the bass notes of every chord which is on the E, A or the D string. Index to pluck the G string, middle finger to pluck the B string, ring finger to pluck the high E string. With that in my mind, I hold the C major 7 chord, right? It's mute 3, 2, open, open, open. Now one important thing is if you notice the pattern goes exactly same for every chord shape. I'm playing. It's almost same. So what I did over here is I plucked the A and the high E string then B, then G, then high E string. So one and two and... So you, that's the C major seven chord, you got third fair on A, second fair on D, rest all open. So we have... Then I go to a B diminished, I have second fair on A, fourth fair on D and B, first fair on G. So I pluck the A and B string together, then G, then D, then B, so we got one and two and and then I go to a, a minor seven chord which is mute open on E second fair on D open G B1. So I pluck the exact same pattern which I did on the diminished chord. I play A and B, G, D, B. Then I go to a A7 chord which will be my ring finger coming to the second fret of the B string and no other changes. Play the pattern once. Then I go to a D minor 7 chord and over here I have open D 2nd fret on G, 1st frets on E and B, pluck D and high E string together, then B, then G, then E. Now bar the 1st frets of G, B and the high E string with the open D string, it's known as D half diminished or you can say D minor 7 flat 5. Play the pattern once, back to C major 7 chord, pluck A string and the high E string, then B. Then G, then open high E string, third fret on the high E string. So that's basically our bridge first part, which sounds like this. I'm playing it slowly. Pause the video, look at the tab. It's really very easy. One, two, three, four. Now coming to the next part which will be, you can see like we are playing the exact same thing but we just change the key. So thus we have to change the shapes and all. So now I have this shape. This is F major 7 which I'm playing it like this. I'm having D and my ring finger bar on the 5th frets of G, B, high E string. I'll plug D and high E together, then B, G, E. Then I go to a diminished chord which, which looks like this. I have 2nd fret on D and B, 3rd fret on G and E. I'll pluck the same pattern once, D, E together, B, G, E. Then I'll go to D minor 7, I'll play the pattern once, same way. Then I'll go to a D7, yes, a D7, not a D minor 7, flat 5. D7 is mute, mute, open, second, first, second. Play the pattern once. Same pattern. And after that, I'll come over here. 
over here i slightly change the pattern because of one small reason i'm not able to play the bass note if i play the chords like this that will be really very tricky so what i'm doing over here is i'm plucking the g and high each and together but firstly let's see what shape we have having one two three four five six seven on g six frets on high e and b so i think this is this is a b flat major chord if i'm not wrong so I'm plucking G and high E string, then E, then G, then B, I'm sorry, then E. So we got G, E, B, G, E. Then you bar the six frets of G, B, E, pluck G and high E string together, B, G, E. So we got B flat majors, B flat minor seven, flat five, also known as the half diminished. Then back to the F major seven chord. I'll pluck D and high E string, then B, then G, then E, and then I'll play 8th fret on the high E string. We can strum the chord and that, but make sure you play 8th fret on the high E string. So the second part sounds like this 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we'll have a quick look at the outro of the song, uh, a great protector, you know my bedroom needs something like that we have up there. Uh, so it starts off on the B, f I'm sorry, on the F major 7 chord, and this way I'm playing the chord, I'm having E1, D2, G2, A3, over here the pattern is plucking the E and G string, then D, A, G, so again it really has, it shows some it resembles that previous pattern, but now it's on different strings. So I'm plucking this pattern E, G, then D, A, then G. Four times on that single chord. So. Then I go to A minor 7 chord. I'll play the pattern twice. So I'm plucking A and B, then G, then D, then B. And then I'll basically have one on D, one on B, and rest all open. So it's now a A minor seven flat five. Right? So this was five. Bring it down, flat five. So we got so, so you play the pattern twice, twice. So in total it comes to be four. But it goes to you know my bedroom needs, so I'll play a G minor seven chord over here. I bar the third fret and I have fifth fret on the A string, so this is indeed a bar chord. Uh, if you can't play, I'm really sorry for that, but then you have to uh, miss out some important notes. What I'm doing over here, I'm playing E and G together, then D, A, then G. Same thing which you did for the previous chords. I'm playing the pattern once, twice, thrice, and for the fourth time. And then I end the progression back to the F major 7 chord, I play the pattern 4 times. And then I strum the B F F7 chord, sorry. I bar the whole 1st fret, I got 2nd fret on G, 3rd fret on A. I'm really sorry, but I'm not able to avoid these 2 bar chords in the song. Super sorry for that. Although these are not like necessary bar chords, you don't, you don't have to play them. But still, uh, let's see what's the, what's the after sounding like. 1, 2, 3, 4. Time. 
that's it for the whole song. I hope the video helps you out. Let me know what other song you want to learn by Rex Orange County. I have covered plenty of songs on the guitar. Be sure to check out the channel playlist and for more lessons like this, subscribe. Bye.